Hey guys, Brodo here, welcome back to Mine Colonies, here we are for another episode, episode 7 I believe we're up to. Got Mr. Taylor behind us, running around getting some building organised. So we've done um, a little bit off camera, which I will show you guys, but at the moment we've got level 3 builder, which I did off camera, so he's up to level 3, which is great. Um, that's going to help us obviously get some more buildings built up to higher levels. Our miner I've upgraded to level 3 as well, so that's another huge step in the right direction for us. Um, inventory, got plenty of cobblestone and stuff coming out of the ground. I don't know what he's got on him, but he should be down there. He's actually level 8 now, so he's actually using a, um, why is it called mine 3? Go mine, because oh, it's level 3. Okay, so he's actually using a diamond pickaxe as well, which is really, really cool. Down here I've got um, just an area for us to be able to keep some sheep and shear some sheep. Um, and then I've sort of just been going around collecting all the flowers I can because I need to actually have like orange beds and brown beds and grey beds and all that sort of stuff. So uh, my level 3 is there. I've got this house as a level 2 house now, which is great. We've got our one of our towers built over here, which we have Jocelyn as a knight in here. So she's got leather armour and a, a wooden sword, but... Um, She's still only level one because I've still I did let them go through a couple of nights with it off peaceful mode, which is really good. Uh, this house has now been built to level two as well. We've got our level two, which was level level two town hall. Um, and these two houses over here I did make to level two as well. So we've really expanded a lot with our colony. It's expanded really quick, to be honest. Um, citizens ten of ten. Got three children at the moment, none are unemployed. At the moment, I'm building the cook or the restaurant, and I've also got the blacksmith and the lumberjack already placed, ready to build to be built. Um, level nine overall happiness is really good. So, um, I've got Duarte Graville, Adil Golding, Oscar Graville, Helena Graville are our new ones. So they're obviously around this area here. Um, over here, we've got our other. Um, defense, I guess. He's a ranger over here, so he's got leather armor and a bow, which is really, really cool. I don't know, actually where, know where he is. Where is he? Might be hiding around here, up on top of the hill somewhere, maybe. Oh, that's a pig. I don't know where he is, actually. He's probably sleeping somewhere. Hiding and sleeping, I would say. Um, over here, we've got our farm going. I've got some cactus, which I went and found, um, just to bring back so we can get some green dye. Plenty of sugarcane around the outside over here. You can see our ship the distance with our fishing hut and a dock that I've built as well. So I did change this to melons instead of strawberries because we had just strawberries everywhere. No one was actually eating them, which was weird. So I think they must only eat the vanilla food. So I did change that back to, um, I changed that to melons. So over here, I've got our blacksmith build going on here. This is where it's going to go. I think it's eventually going to expand a fair way down here and hopefully it won't interrupt with this but it should expand down to about here I think so it won't interrupt with this road won't interrupt with these guys who are quite noisy um, I did build this here I did follow a tutorial that I did find on YouTube to get this built which is actually a beautiful beautiful building so now come across from our ship straight through here which is my home sort of up here in this level um, I've got these doors here which are just you know, just like a something a little bit different to a normal door. Maybe they actually roll up so you can actually get a cart in and out of here. Um, I've got these spruce wood candle lanterns, which I've got all along here. Uh, these are oak, but these are spruce. All the way along here, which are really, really cool. Come in through here, so I've got some item frames here. But this side I was going to put in some furnaces. This is going to be like all our, our blocky products. So, you know, like wood, cobblestone, gravel, dirt. Um... Got nether rack and stuff all along here. Oh, what's that? Some uh, diorite, some andesite, which I found down th under this build pretty much. It was a huge amount, so there's 12 stacks, which is really cool. This side I've got um, some saplings, sugar cane, and paper. And this one I've got like flowers and dyes in here, but all this will eventually get filled up. This will be my storage, and then it'll go across into the other storage as we need to move it over. In here, I built these um, oak floor lights, which are really, really cool. Just a little bit of glass and a piece of glowstone around some wood, and they're awesome. Um, this is sort of the staircase going up to my bed area at the moment. 
beautiful view of the town over here, beautiful view of the port so we can see who's coming in, beautiful view maybe of a future build over that side, upstairs here which is quite dark, um, to have some torches on us, let's throw some torches up here, just in case, so I'd rather not let anything spawn up here, which hopefully it won't, uh, that's actually got to be removed, there we go, and then this will eventually be another floor up here, but as I said, this stuff here has got to go. I only put this here so I could actually finish the build because I missed one little part of the build. Oh, there we go. So if we come back down, we can go and have a look and check on how he's doing. He, shouldn't, he should have everything he needs. Yep, he does. Good. Did make sure he had everything he needed before we actually started the recording, but he's probably going to have a sleep now, I would say. So I still also have this little area here, which has still got just the general stuff of mine in here. This is what I've been using, the tallow. Uh, the glass pane and some string to make these lights and that sort of stuff. So that's what that is there. Just general storage stuff. We've got strawberries everywhere. We've still got all of our food and stuff in here. Just tools and mine colony stuff. And this is just random stuff, of course. But he should... Well, they're still building. They should be going to sleep. Uh, let's yeah, just go to sleep and then they can actually keep building, hopefully. Right, looks like he's probably heading home now actually. So I've got to go through and see who's living with who because if we have too many males and females together they can keep producing babies. Here's another one, Dwight Greville. This guy's running around. Uh, level 7, 5 strength, 5 intelligence, 5 dexterity which isn't too bad. He needs some food though. Um, which is the reason why I want to get this cafe sort of built over here, the restaurant, because I don't think they always go and get their own food, which is a little bit annoying. Where'd he go? That's not him. That's He needs something over there. Here he is. Let's go. Inventory. Here you go. Have some food. Here you go. What do we need? He needs some cobblestone walls, which we can sort that out. So she's still delivering things to over there, I think. Uh, let's go into here. We should have some cobblestone. Here, there we go. I always forget how they go, like that, there we go. Give him some cobblestone walls, we'll go over and give them to him so he's got plenty on him. I'm still leaving this grass path here for now, maybe soon we'll change to a cobblestone mix, like a variant, because everything's starting to get more cobblestone than wood now, so. Right, let's go, inventory, throw that into there. He should be happy now, he should keep doing his thing. Now I'll show you guys... Um, I think that goes that way, doesn't it? We're right on the edge though. We can still maybe... You know, I don't know if we'll get another build in over there or not. We'll get one in here once we move this farm and stuff out of the way. Here's another spot we can use. Um, I'm putting our lumberjack in all the way down the end here. So I've still got all these trees that I'm still harvesting. I've got spruce trees that I'm still harvesting through here. So it'd be good to get the lumberjack in doing this so I don't have to do it myself. So it's going to be down here. Uh, right on the edge of the border. On both sides. Should have some, yeah, we've got some birch trees there as well. So we've got a decent gap from here over to, obviously, here, our ranger station in the back of our, back of our cafe. So everything's sort of, I'm not making everything on the same level. Things are going to be on a different level, which is great, but um, this shovel thing is really cool too. really like it. And that should go from here to here, so I need to fill that in with dirt. Or potentially even just drop it down a level. I think maybe drop it down a level and go that way. So the cafe is getting built. Um, we'll go and have a look at our dock actually. I'll show you guys the design that I did with the dock. It's pretty much similar to what we've done all around this place, but just added in a few things of course. I've done a lot more mining as well. Um, I've got out this pickaxe here is now Efficiency 5, I'm breaking 3, and Fortune 2. So I've been using that a lot for our coal and redstone, lapis, and diamonds. I've actually got over a stack and a half of diamonds, I think, at the moment. So I've got plenty of those, which is really good. I'd like to be able to extend this way as well, but I'm not sure with the town hall. It's level 2, maybe when we get level 3, it expands a little bit, but I don't know what we're going to get around the side of this building, but we'll have to wait and see. So I have Fisherman's Hut down here, and she's still having trouble getting to it, which is weird. Uh, let's go recall worker, that'll help her. Not that I don't really care about a fisherman to be honest because she's, 
yeah, she's special. Anyway, so we come across here, I've still got some grass path, but I'll put in a little bit of spruce wood planks. This steps up to the same level as the ship, so the ship is right alongside um, the, the dock here, so it's actually really come in and docked nice and close, which is good. Um, I've got these oak wood candle lanterns again, just with the oak wood spruce planks. We come down the side here, I've got, you know, brick and stuff underneath here, so it's, you know, cracked bricks, normal bricks, cobblestone brick. oh, sorry, mossy bricks and that sort of stuff, so it does all, go all the way down. If we have a look down this side, you know, our oak planks go right to the bottom, but I've only made our, um, like, cobblestone and stuff go down 10 blocks, so it's not right to the bottom, which doesn't matter too much because you can't really see it, but, you know, it's not, not too far away from where we need to go. Not going to go right down there with with you know bricks and stuff because we're not going to see them anyway. Like we can can't see it from here, so it's really not going to make much difference. Still got to fill this area in over here and get another build in this area. So that's one thing we need to finish. But I do love this build here. As soon as I seen the tutorial um, on YouTube, I'm like, yes, we need to build that. This thing looks amazing. It did take me probably an hour and a half to follow his 50 minute tutorial and get it all built, but certainly well worth it. The blacksmith here is going to be built as I showed you guys before. Hopefully this cafe is not far away. Why does that... She keeps taking stuff out of here. I swear she does. It's really, really annoying. We need some oak wood, so let's go and cut down some trees. So all these... um sheep over there. I eventually want to get somewhere where I can put all the sheep with all the different colours. I think that'll be great if we can actually do that. Oh, let's knock this out. I just usually always just run down here like this and just cut everything. If you leave it long enough it gets a full straight line of it and it makes it so much easier to cut them all down. Same here as the birch. They're not quite joined but we can still get to them all so that's a bonus. And always just use just the all the I think it's the excavation mod, which just allows me to be able to um cut all the leaves, the trees and the leaves down really really quick, make everything disappear, especially over here. So nine times out of ten, I've got to actually climb up like this now and get a lot of the oak that we've actually missed. Some bits like that we can actually reach, but not all of it. Oops. Right, clear this. Should have plenty after this, but I've been doing it a fair bit because I've been using plenty of oak logs and I know that all the builds are using plenty of oak logs as well, so and oak. So I'm trying to make sure I've keeping on top of everything. Right, let's get that out of there. We need to actually climb up a little bit. Uh here, we'll go here. That should be the right spot. Alright, let's get that one gone. There should be another one somewhere. There it is. Hopefully that's it for there. Hopefully there's no more. Definitely some over here, as we can see. Still can't get it if I jump. This one I should be able to get if I jump. Okay, that should be that one gone. Alright, there we go. Oops. Should be alright though. Should be able to reach this one from the ground. Just obviously keep the left mouse down and just jump. Uh, this one should be our last one. So much easier when we get the lumberjack to do this. I won't have to worry about any of this. Not sure how quickly it's going to happen though, but... Ooh, I go down there. I have put torches absolutely everywhere to try and avoid having things spawn when we actually go to peaceful mode, but I still had plenty of stuff spawning around the areas, but that's one thing we're just sort of going to have to roll with the punches, I guess, and um, try and minimise it as much as we can. Right, there we go. That's usually what I do, put a huge line in, go like that, go to this side, put a huge line in. I just let them grow and come back and harvest them when we need to. I 
dog in the background barking at nothing. He does that a lot. Uh, get rid of this stuff. I always get rid of the apples and the sticks and the pears and stuff. We don't really need it. Uh, the extra saplings I'll get rid of for now. Right, let's come back into here. So now we should have plenty of oak, some birch. Put those in there as well. Let's go to our uh, builder. It is my gold. Okay, so he still needs oak wood. So let's go throw it into there. Go to inventory, throw it into there. So the level 3 build has unlocked a little bit more down here, which has been good. So we've got chest, chest, and chest. So all these things I've sort of been throwing stuff in. Why does it have this in here? I don't know. Some things are extremely weird that end up in here. The bricks can stay, but this stuff can go. Any flowers and stuff, flint and pickaxe and stuff just doesn't make sense. I don't know why it's even in there. Yep, and then the upstairs area, which is it's more like a, a workspace and the access to the crane that's hanging off the side there, which is pretty cool. Right, so let's um let him keep getting this done. Um, any of this stuff I can throw in there, I will. Let's have a look. Is there any more? Yeah, there's some flowers there. So I want to get all these put into our storage, these flowers. Take that as well. Oop, and there's some dye, some black dye. Right, good. The one thing I'm having trouble with is blue dye. Um, I know I can use lapis for some colours, but not just normal blue dye, I can't use lapis, so... Um, I've had to find, try and find these like blue orchards and stuff like that, so... I haven't been finding a great deal. I'm going to put some bone meal in there too, I think. Uh, black stuff. Alright, I've got sugar cane. We'll throw that into there. Flint, I'll just get rid of. Um, and food. I think... Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay, one there. Oop. Right, there we go. Um, put some food, I guess. Start on this side. If I just go out like melons, throw those in there. We're going to have way too many or too much by the time we get to the other side. Uh, she wants some fertilizer, which we don't have at the moment. Iron pickaxe can go in the bin because we don't need them anymore. We're up to diamond pickaxe level. Right, so he's doing his thing over here. So let's have a quick sleep and we'll um, go over and check out and see how he's going with this build. Hopefully it won't be too far away. I don't want you guys to sort of be too bored with me showing you a lot of, you know, mining and building and stuff on camera, but I sort of want to keep you guys informed as to what I've done off camera. Um, maybe check out a build every episode if we can get one done. So definitely this one. Um, I want to get the lumberjack and blacksmith done as well, but there's still so much more stuff we can actually do. Um, where are we? Go through here. So the bakery we've already built. We've got the blacksmith done, builder's hut, citizens, delivery man. The farm we've done, but I'd like to get another one eventually. Uh, fields. Fisherman's hut's done. The guard tower, we've got two of those. We've got the lumberjack getting built. The mine's built. Uh, Stonemason, I haven't decided where I'm going to put that yet, I don't think. Uh, we've got a warehouse. So I want to get the shepherd, cowboy, and the swine herder's hut. So the shepherd, obviously, for wool. Cowboy for the cows and the swine herders for the pigs. Chicken herders hut, so these four would be good as well. Uh, barracks tower, which we haven't done yet, or a barracks. Uh, restaurant we're getting done. The smeltery is still another one. Composters hut. The library, archery, combat academy, sawmill, stone smeltery, crusher, sifter, flower shop, an enchanter. Uh, barracks, tower placeholder, I don't know why that's there. Uh, rack, a barrel, I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, post office, post box I should say. Uh, what else? City names and stuff, okay. So there's still a fair few builds we've got to do, so we really need to expand um, a lot more. One thing I've found in here, citizen recruitment. Choose which recruitment you want, yes, but I don't know how to actually do that. Um, work orders. Okay. Um, like it says, citizen recruitment. 
can hire mercenaries, cancel. Uh, citizen recruitment, but I did come up here with diamond and a book and stuff, but I couldn't actually do anything. Maybe I need the post box first. I'm not quite sure, but how's he going? He's still got a fair few things to place. Right here, guys, I might pause it here and come back when he's actually um, finished doing a little bit more of this build, but we'll see in here we can change these things as things sort of are built, but we'll... um. It's actually a really big building. This is only level one. It's actually huge level five, so it's going to be quite big. But um, I'll come back when this is built and um, show you guys how it looks. Right here, guys, we're back. So we've got Oscar in here now. He's doing some cooking. So he's got level four skill endurance. Oh, sorry. Four points in skill. Skills of endurance. Uh, strength, six in charisma intelligence, three in dexterity. Um, food modifier is all pretty happy. Um, coming into here, change the screen. I did actually make it so he only uses coal um, in in here. So he uses coal to cook. He's cooking pork chops at the moment. I don't think there's a way that we can actually tell him uh, what recipe we want them to cook. Um, teach recipe. There's not really anything we can teach um, in there, I don't think. Like he's just cooking pretty much pork chops. So, I don't know. We just have to sort of let him go and see what he does. But it is um, completely done now, finally. I've sort of leveled up the area too. Um, down through here, I think I might level this in a little bit. Um, and still, we need to give ourselves access to over to here, of course. It doesn't quite look like it should. So let's just um, build in a road over towards there. There we go. Get rid of that. Throw that torch back down there. There we go. So he's got a walkway over to here. Let's actually put a walkway in over to here as well. There we go. So at least he's got access through that way. Might as well just do that as well. All right. So the next builds we're going to look at. Has she actually got an axe? Or she, yeah, she's got an axe. That's good. Um, is the lumberjack over here or the blacksmith down here? I think the lumberjack is probably going to be the best thing for us to get done next. So I will look at doing that um, off camera. Duart Z Graville has grown up, which is just over here, talking to the pig. Well, hopefully he's just talking to the pig. Um, anyway, we'll head over here, we'll get this started to be built, and then we'll um, hopefully come back next episode, it'll be completed. We can get our lumberjack um, working in here and get some stuff done. I know we can actually choose what saplings they use, uh, what wood they actually plant and harvest and that sort of stuff. So it's definitely going to be spruce, oak and birch at the moment. And that's pretty much about it. Like there's nothing really else that we need to... Why are you below the ground? Why do you have no house? You should be living right here. Scarlet and Eastern. Remove Scarlet. Uh, what's her name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn should be in here. Where? Actually, she might be too far away. Okay, we'll, we'll put Scarlet back in here then. I think she might be too far away. That might be what a problem is, but... Can't complain too much. So we've got another build we can put in here, which I don't know what we're going to fit in here, to be honest. But obviously this road needs to stay, but this road can be moved away a little bit if we need to expand this way. But I think that's pretty much all we need to really do this episode. Um, still got to get our blacksmith built in here. Uh, still got to fill this area in a little bit. Eventually get rid of all this stuff and move it into our warehouse here, which we have a wolf on top of our warehouse. Uh, random. Um, fisherman over there. It's, it's just an absolute waste of time, I think. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's really weird and really frustrating and annoying but anyway so what we might do guys is might end the episode here i might make sure um we'll see oh he's got everything on him so we don't have to actually give him anything so we'll get that built pretty quick i think so let's head over here and get this started next i don't know what exactly we're going to need um grab cobblestone that's actually pretty easy so that should be built pretty quick i think the repair building thing is if we have a creeper come through and destroy this, then yeah, that's going to be um, what we need to repair the buildings for. 
that sort of stuff or I happen to actually damage it for some reason. But this whole hill here, I think I'm going to take this whole hill away because we've still got plenty of room down here we can actually build. We have a look. All this hill will definitely disappear. This cow area stuff here will get replaced with farming stuff. So maybe like, you know, all of our farming stuff can go over in this corner. That farm over at this side, maybe that can stay. Maybe we can get rid of that and move it over to here. But I think definitely the cows, pig, sheep, um, chickens and stuff we can maybe put over here. Like down through here and over this side maybe. Um, the mines probably... I probably didn't put the mine in the best spot, to be honest. But once you put it in, you don't really want to go moving it. But it looks like we've expanded a little bit in this corner, which is really weird. I don't know why it's expanded like that. Is that... Oh, I don't know. It's only just this corner. I do know when we put towers in, it's meant to expand us out a little bit, but it should expand us here where the tower is, not down in that corner, which is weird. Anyway, it gives us more room to work, so right now, guys, we'll, um, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you want to see it continue, or if you've got any ideas, leave it down in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.